Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets. Now bringing out a bite-sized piece today. Got some fantastic news. First up, Kraken is now going to be a registered bank in the state of Wyoming. Why this is huge, why this is going to change everything, and why I'm going to be changing my banks quickly. Also, this is a follow-up from yesterday's video, but we're going to talk about MicroStrategy outperforms the NASDAQ Composite after a 175 million Bitcoin purchase is made. This is on top of their 250 million Bitcoin that they already purchased and what actually happened to their stock, which in my opinion is more of a bullish story than them actually buying the Bitcoin. Also, we're going to talk about Chainlink to start supplying data for Crypto.com's DeFi wallet, which will lead us into question of the day where we answer the question, which is, how do I buy Theta? So we'll get to all that, but let's take a look what's going on with the market. So today, September 16th, about 10 a.m. Texas time, and it looks like Bitcoin finally broke above that 11,000, or at least back above 11,000. So I'm happy with that. 2.6 for 24 hours and 9% for the seven day. I will take those numbers. Ethereum uh, almost at 370, 375 at 1.5 and 10% up for the week. Not too shabby as far as gains. Those are the kind of gains you might see in DeFi, but here they are in Ethereum. We'll take it. Tether's Tether, nobody cares. XRP, 24 cents. Pretty much you've got two stable coins in number three and four. Polkadot down 2%, but up 20% for the week, so not too bad. Bitcoin Cash down 0.1, but they're in that sixth spot. And we'll see what happens with that whole Bitcoin Cash hard fork coming up in November. Chainlink down 4.5, even though they've, they've got good news. What are you going to do? Binance down 1.4, even though they got into DeFi. Also, what are you going to do? Crypto.com only at 0.4, even though they got into DeFi. That's how it is. DeFi is not as uh, hot as it used to be, but I believe it has its place. And everything else is pretty much standard, except for urine finance, down 10% for the day. Ouchie. 35,000 though per token. Uh, if you're a uh, urine finance token holder and you got an early, congratulations. But uh, I'm not touching that. And down we go. Synthetics down one and a half. Theta down 3%. What are you going to do? 28% for, for the week. Not too bad. And uh, 51 cents. And I've always said uh, anything below a dollar is a steal. And we're going to talk about how to buy that. But let's jump into the Bay's top story. So first up, and this was huge. I was just about to make a video and I got this email from Kraken. And I just happened to open it up. And what does it say? Oh, it says, hey, guess what? We're going to be a bank. And it states, we are thrilled to announce that the state of Wyoming has approved Kraken's application to form the world's first special purpose depository institute, or SBTI. I have no idea what that is, but sounds good. And has granted a charter to Wyoming's newest state chartered bank tentatively called Kraken Financial. I know what that means. That means that Kraken is going to be its own bank. It's going to be able to have traditional fiat. You're going to have cryptocurrency. You're going to be able to do wires, ACH, all those types of things. And this is exciting news because this is one of the first to where an exchange is also going to be a bank and you have to do a, and you're going to be able to do a lot of things that we should have already been able to do. So thank you, Wyoming, for being one of the few states to actually get it. New York, I hope you're listening because this is how it's done. So headquartered in Cheyenne, Wyoming, Kraken Financial will enable Kraken clients in the U.S., unfortunately, to bank seamlessly between digital assets and national currencies. Notice I didn't say U.S. dollar. They should national currencies. So I use Revolut and uh, they're a pretty great bank. They were started in Europe and now they transfer over to America and you're able to uh, transact in different national currencies. So like for me, I live right next to Mexico. I can transfer the US dollar right to the peso, just like that at a snap of a button. Very fast, very easy to use. Now Kraken's be able to do that and that is good stuff. And it lays it all out from paying bills and receiving salaries in crypto to incorporating digital assets into investment and trade portfolios. Kraken Financial will be the first regulated U.S. bank to provide comprehensive deposit-taking custody and fiduciary services for digital assets. And then scrolling down, additionally, because of our position as a bridge between crypto and traditional finance, we will offer the following crypto-focused services in our first year of operations. So digital asset custody, demand deposit accounts, DDAs, wire transfer, and funding services. And here's the big one. Other services for individuals' accounts, a complete online and mobile banking suite of products, which includes a debit card that clients can use to spend their crypto funds. So this is one of those things that Crypto.com actually had on everything and everybody. And they were like way out of the curve. Now Kraken is catching up. And this is just one of those dominoes that falls. I think over the next one to three years, you're going to see a lot of banks going, hey, wait, what happened? 
Where's all our customers going? Uh, we're going to have to close another branch because no one's coming in. Maybe this is the wake-up call that the OCC said is, hey, you guys can custody this stuff if you stop dragging your feet. And I think they're going to look around and go, hmm, seems like a ghost town here. Maybe we should get into cryptocurrency. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I think this is huge. Let me know. Let's move on.